वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अविनाश गोरक्षकर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ कोनेक्सिया हाई फ्लायर्स फ्रेंड्स एज ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर दीस एपिसोड्स हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड इमर्जिंग कंपनीज फ्रॉम इमर्जिंग सेक्टर्स एंड वी मेक इट अ पॉइंट टू टॉक टू द प्रमोटर्स एंड द टॉप मैनेजमेंट्स ऑफ सच कंपनीज सो दैट ऑल ऑफ अस कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू नो द कंपनीज ऑपरेशंस देयर फ्यूचर ग्रोथ जर्नी एज वेल एज यू नो द प्रमोटर्स पर्सनल बिजनेस जर्नी एंड गेट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ऑल दीस कंपनीज व्हिच आर गोइंग पब्लिक and friends uh, today we have got another interesting company which we are going to introduce the management the company's name is kalana ispat limited and uh, we have the privilege of having the top management as well as the promoter teams with us we have mr uh, aftab husain s khandawa wala who is the executive director uh, aftab ji uh, please pardon me aftab ji because uh, you know your name is slightly big so for uh, <laughs> your valuable time with us today and uh, we also hey. have mr is john uh, pottakari who is the managing director sir welcome to the show and we also have mr uh, anup kumar uh, gupta who is the promoter director of the company hello hello everyone this side anup gupta from java capital and we are a category merchant banker okay so and i think uh, gentlemen thank you very much for uh, you know sparing your valuable time with us today so without wasting time we can uh, start with the main discussion topic uh if uh, uh, you know the promoters can tell us something about the business model of the company what does the company do what is the present positioning of the company and uh, if you could tell us something about your business journey or is this a first generation uh, effort or has this company come from your you know from your earlier uh, from your father and then uh, you know you all have taken over so you know if you could share your business journey that would also be really be nice to know so please start thanks for being here Sir, we it is a first generation business, and it started in '93 as a trader. Then after a couple of years, Mr. Aftaf Kandawala joined with me, and uh, later on it was a smooth trading. Trading is concerned. In 2011, we started our first furnace operation, where in mid Thailand and still private limited. We started the business uh, industry in that. We used to produce about 1,500 metric ton per month. Later on, after two years, it is converted to Kalana Ispat Private Limited. Then we both jointly started the business. It was a smooth ride later on. And now, in 2015, Kalana Ispat is start production. And uh, later on, Things were very smooth. It is going very well, making good profit. And this was the journey. Now they come to a big issue. Oh, fine. I think, uh, sir, now if you could tell us, sir, uh, what is the product range the company offers? Like, what are the different products? Of course, we make billets. But what are the different kind of billets which we supply to the customers? And which are the end user segments? If you could give us some idea on that. Yeah, we have mentioned the MS billets, which will go to the rolling mills and they do <coughs> produce EMD bars, angle, channel. These are the products they may get. So basically, uh, do you have any contractual agreements with some of the TMT companies or do you have a ready customer base? That's what I want to understand uh, because I think our operations are largely centered around Gujarat. If you could give us some background about the customer base, any companies which are into TMT or which are into uh, MSP, you know, uh, alloy steel. If you could, you know, uh, tell us some uh, customer names and basically what's the profile, customer profile of our company. Sir, uh, our location, the location of our company is at Sanan. And as you know, sir, the Sanan is a manufacturing hub right now. It is known uh, throughout the nation. Uh, and we have... Uh, mm -hmm. Plenty of uh, uh, companies that buy uh, alloy steel products just nearby, many rolling mills that make TMT, that make structure steel, that is uh, around 100 and 150 kilometers uh, around us only. So uh, uh, the best advantage is that we don't incur a major transport cost also to supply to uh, our parties. Uh, we deal sir, mainly with uh, uh, Stifo steels, uh, Baradia steels and uh, various other companies. 
uh, sir our sales is in a way that it is we are already uh, always sold out 10 to 15 days in advance and then we take the orders like we make sizes in uh, 100 by 100 100 uh, 120 by 120 and 160 by 160 and a couple of grades of alloy steel because alloy steel right now we are developing another six months we'll be uh, uh, making more and more grades of alloy steels also but right now we are okay. only making two grades okay and understand uh, and sir what is the total current install capacity as of now and what is the broad uh, capacity utilization we are working at sir our install capacity is so, yeah, yes, presently the company has a melting capacity of 38,000 metric tons and out of that uh, they are using 62% uh, only because of the there are they are using the, the night shift only. The reason is that the, the power cost is a very significant cost so they have taken the tariff off to get the advantage of the power saving. And uh, other than that, the uh, melting capacity, there are another process is the casting capacity. So they have a casting capacity of 30,000 metric tons per annum. So they are using somewhere around 80 to 82 percent capacity right presently. So overall, mm -hmm. if we see that the company is using in the product manufacturing for 60 to 63 percent and in the casting that because they are using for their own purpose as well as they are using for the job work purpose also so in overall 82 percent of the casting capacity is being used okay and i would Basically, like to mention about to the company because as we have done the due diligence of the company so geographically companies place at the best place because they are in the gujarat and the availability of the power is good and the infra infrastructure also is good and they are surrounding to the automobiles industry because the nano power plant is there. So they are having a good place to source the raw material from the various industries and also use the, that raw material to doing the manufacturing process to make to order about to the requirement of the industry of in steel industry. So for the TMT war industry, they are getting the different different gates. So, the company has a melting capacity in house so they can make a, a different kind of the combination about to the steel to serve to the industry so always the, the this kalana industry is, is always full of the orders because they have a, a capacity restriction on the part of the electricity board otherwise they are full of the capacity utilizing understood uh, uh, anupji now tell me one thing you mentioned that the company operates only on night shift so any plans for the company to utilize uh, capacity during daytime also because this power cost benefit is important but going forward as demand increases you know will it be possible for uh, you know the company to also operate on uh, two shifts that is one day shift as yes. well as one night shift so any plans on yes. these cuts Yes, definitely. The object of the issue IPO that we are going for the installation of the solar power plant. So while installing the solar plant, power plant, they will get the very effective cost of the power in the night and they can utilize the solar power plant in the day capacity also by using. So the target is to get the saving in the electricity cost that is very significant at present moment of time. So when they will use the solar power plant, then they will able to use the other remaining spare capacity for another additional production capacity. So they are okay. prospective to grow the business very significantly. Okay. Understood. Uh, Aftabji, now this question is, uh, you know, on the business side, if you could tell us, sir, we are already now in FY25, uh, you have been in the month of September, sir, what is the kind of tailwinds you are getting from the customers in terms of demand you know what is the market telling us will demand be much better than last year and typically you know i know this industry operates on an order book you know currently aapne bola ki 15 din ke pehle order milta hai fir aap usko produce karte ho to sir hamare dhande mein order book 15 20 din ka hi hota hai aap jitna order aata hai quickly aap bana ke you know usko deliver karte ho and on the overall demand potential for this current year what is the kind of outlook which you would like to share with us so the demand is actually really good still in steel it is the rates are what fluctuates but the demand is always good and sir we don't book too much advance orders because this is a volatile market also 
so if we are uh, book too much in advance it can have a negative effect on our uh, businesses like if the raw material prices increase and we are uh, booked at a certain rate then we have to supply to the uh, party to whom we have committed so we maintain sir a 15 day balance and that is still uh, worked with us and uh, it is a, a successful way of uh, doing business with okay. us right now okay understood so basically uh, what i'm trying to understand please correct me if i'm wrong aftab ji is that you don't take the inventory risk jitna order aata hai utna hi yes, sir, raw material aata hai theek hai i understand inventory yeah i think that is fine that is good uh, aftab ji now second question is on terms of pricing do you have some big customers where pricing is decided on a contractual basis or everything is based on demand supply jitna raw material cost hoga uske hisab se conversion margin lagta hai So pricing, sir. How do we decide the pricing for all the customers? Is it standardized or is it customized? Sir, uh, pricing is generally standard standardized in the market, <coughs> sir. And uh, the price of the raw material plus the amount of conversion cost that comes. So everybody in the market who does this business sells at a particular ratio, okay, uh, uh, adding their margin. So sir, uh, there has always been the conversion margin can never go because nobody okay. can do a business in a loss. I yeah, understood, but no fine. So because I was just seeing your operating margins, will these operating margins more or less remain similar? That's what I was wanting to know. Volume will increase, absolute profit will increase, but the margin picture, in my opinion, will remain the same. Because if you say that, yes, sir, margin, 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 so they will get the advantage of the electricity cost that will going to be added into the current margins so the on that account the current margins will improve significantly because power okay. cost is the very significant part of the project okay currently anubhi what is the total uh, power cost for us on an annual basis how much cost we are incurring for power so currently they are paying aftab ji if i am not wrong somewhere around Uh, to 8%, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, around 8%, 7 to 8%, I think. 8% इनका साठ छह से सात करोड़ का इयरली होता है एंड बाई पुटिंग दिस पावर प्लांट वी आर गोइंग टू सेव समर अराउंड थ्री एंड हाफ करोड़ रुपीज इन द पावर सेविंग so okay. that will going to be added into the margins okay so basically one can safely assume 50% savings in, in power cost is possible because of this solar yes. Right. yes okay now understood now uh, aftar ji on the other hand you know uh, just wanted to understand see uh, there are many companies like us which are into this business in the billet business now if we take out the financial aspect in terms of qualitative aspect what is the value addition we give to our customers is it our service is it our execution Uh, in what way do we add value to our customers you know if i were to ask you two three qualitative points ki hum dhande ko customer ko value kaise add karte hain financials to sabhi ko pata hai so if you could tell us which we think you could uh, you know help us understand it in a qualitative way that will help us sir ye business mein sabse zyada zaruri hai timely delivery and good quality so hamare the, the sourcing of our raw materials there is there is a uh, high end quality check because the better the raw material we use the better the quality product will be able to deliver and timely delivery again sir because the uh, as i said that this is a volatile market so everybody needs to make their uh, get their deliveries on time to make their deliveries on time so that is how we try our best to satisfy our parties and that is why they are with us from so many years sir understood abdul ji how many dealers do we have like in gujarat for example you know in sanand we are we are having a location हमारे कितने डीलर्स होंगे नेटवर्क हमारा मार्केटिंग नेटवर्क कितना बड़ा होगा सर अवर एंटायर बिजनेस इज बी ओनली वी डोंट एंटरटेन डीलर्स इन अवर बिजनेस और ऑल बिजनेसेस आर बी टू बी एंड वी हैव वेरियस पार्टीज आर टू बी विद बट आई थिंक सेवन एट पार्टीज आर देयर विद हुम वी हैव अवर रेगुलर बिजनेसेस विद सर ओके सो बेसिकली डायरेक्टली कंपनीज में ही आप माल बेचते हो यू डोंट हैव एनी ओनली ओनली बी टू बी ओके अंडरस्टैंड द the billets that is being manufactured they that product is the raw material for the other steel industry so generally always it is the b2b market 
and uh, in part of the your strength and the positive side of the company is the legacy also of mr burgess mr burgess have a vast experience in this in uh, steel market so that legacy also help us to grow the market very significantly and they have a very good experience so while composing to the en or alloy steel because the company have a good experience in the composing to the alloy steel so that part is very good for the kalana because generally we get the better margin on the composition of the alloy steel so in that terms also i have been betted that they are good okay understood uh aptaji now on the financial side if you could tell us you know fy24 has been a very strong year i was just seeing the profit the profit has jumped to almost uh, 2.36 crores from 50 lakhs last year and revenue has come down so any specific reason why revenue was down from 83 crores to 73 crores if you could tell us you know how profitability improved but revenue was down any specific reasons sir one of the main reasons is that that uh, our company used to engage sir in trading activities also but as you know sir trading is seasonal we used to import scrap goods and sell it in domestic market but uh, then again uh, right now the that trade is not viable sir so okay and, uh, yeah so and that is the reason that that uh, turnovers got uh, uh, reduced by a bit but uh, the margin sir uh, in uh, manufacturing has always been nice well the okay. some, uh, yeah so there are, there are two major factor there are two major factor that company strategically has taken the decisions because in the financial year 2023 and it they were doing the manufacturing as well as they were doing the uh, trading also so what the company has decided to continue the manufacturing so improve the margin is there and also they have decided to make a better product in the suppose so they are using the better product in terms of the raw material to reduce their burning loss also so that is the major issue that been impacted to the company to improve the margins also they have done the job work to using the casting capacity previously the company was not using that much of level of the job work so to to show the full strength of the company performance they have used the job work capacity in the casting capacity to utilize the better margins as well as they have used the better raw material to get and get down the burning losses and also they have focus on the manufacturing side more rather than to be trading side so these all are the three factors mm -hmm. that is relating to the better margin in 2024 okay so understood i think very nicely articulated by you anup ji anup ji now since uh, you are the merchant banker the uh, most important question is that you know if you could tell us what is the uh, you know amount of uh, funds which the company is going to raise from the public issue and what is the objective of raising these funds and what is the ipo price band if you could please share with us all right so company is targeting to the capital market for raising the fund approx 32.59 crores ipo size for diluting the cap, uh, their equity by 37 8% dilution and the main object of the company is to use the fund for the capex only because 90% more than 90% capex 90% capex is being used for the fund size on the solar plant as the rolling plant so that there are two outlook of the company one the company is going to use the major part for the putting the 4 mega part solar plant that will result into the saving in the electricity cost which will be result into the better margin of the company as well as company is focusing on to forward integration because they are making the raw material so suppose if they will make the raw material they can use that raw material for their internal consumption and making the tmt bar and others by the rolling mill so the some part of the investment company is doing in the rolling mill so by both the way company will definitely will get the benefit of the power saving and second side they will able to use the their raw material for the better margin by the forward integration into the rolling mill so in okay. overall 90 approx 90% of fund is going to be used for the uh, capex side only okay and uh, has the price band been finalized uh, anuj yeah, it is a fixed price finalized? issue it, it is the yeah. fixed price issue it is the 66 rupees per share price presently the eps the pe ratio is coming somewhere around 21 and the post issue reflecting to the higher side 
but today higher price will be better tomorrow that cheaper price because once we will add on this capex and will save the our margins then our p ratio will get down because the company has a limitation about to the uh, capacity so by improving the reduction due to the capital expense uh, electricity expenditure they will improve the margin and get the better p ratio so what if i added the saving into the our profitability then immediately the p ratio will come down to the 14 or 15 but presently because the company is looking for the better margins that's why they are little bit higher slightly but tomorrow it will be better and good price for the investor okay now anupji i was just wanting to know uh, if i've heard correctly you said how much what is the equity which we are doing now it is about 37 percent you said right 37.8 something ah, so I just wanted to understand 25% is the normal dilution. Uh, the extra dilution has the company offered any pre-IPO shares to any investors? No, 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 no. The reason is that their project cost is high because if you will see normally the company keep the GCP and the working capital, but here the company is targeted to fix the capex. So to meeting the capex, they need the funds. That's why they are diluting little higher side. Otherwise, because they will not able to fulfill their target. So that, that's the reason to give the higher dilution to the market to feed the okay. air capex cost. Okay. okay. No, understood. Uh, nicely explained by you, Anupji. Uh, Aptapji, now tell me one thing. What is the normal working capital cycle in our business? Like, you know, you said 15 days ka order ke hisab se hum kaam karte hai. Toh, hamara working capital cycle kitna lamba hota hai? By the time you... Uh, you know, make the product, you send it uh, to the customer, the customer pay, makes payment to you. What is the broad working sir, capital cycle in our business? Sir, from procurement of the raw materials to, to the payment, it is around 35 to 40 days. It usually works okay. out. Okay. okay. So basically, 35, 40 days, you get your money back. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. And, uh, sir, last yes. question now, which is very really important. Uh, just wanted to understand from you that you know, we have always seen uh, volatile times. COVID has happened. You know, a lot of challenges for the Indian economy has happened. Now, luckily, you know, Indian economy is on the fast track. You know, construction activity, real estate activity, uh, the sectors which you cater, your company caters are also doing well. Sir, in so many years, ever since you started operations, you know, what is the main risk in our business? Like, is it raw material risk? Is it execution risk? Or any other risk which, you know, is important to ensure that you remain always profitable? So, if you can share your thoughts on this. Sir, uh, I'll just say that uh, a, ma a major change in government policy is something that only that can hamper uh, our growth. Other than that, of course, you need the support of the market also. But uh, right now, looking to, uh, uh, at the uh, uh, growth in the steel industries at the coming five years, seven years, it looks to be very good. Okay. So basically, government policy and raw material volatility is very important. Once that is yes. taken care of, and therefore growth is very solid. So anyways, uh, all of you, I think, uh, uh, sir, all, all of you spared your valuable time. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And sir, please accept my best wishes to you as well as thank your you. management team. And uh, sir, best wishes for your forthcoming IP also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.